Tonight, when we judge in each other, we just remember what we can judge him from. Aren't you glad that he does not say we have been too bad? Maybe we have been too bad, bad, but God didn't say we were bad. People said we were bad, but Jesus said, you're good because I made you. I know all about you. I know in your heart something that is unright. I know that you want to do right. The bad, we don't have the right name, the right address, the right friend. Aren't you glad that's not instant with our degree, or our freshman? Not instant in how well we speak, or how, how good our car is, uh, what we drive is and what kind of house you have, or uh, how much money you have in your bank account, or what if you have a five, or how many cars and houses you have. God is interested in that. God is interested in you. And once you in the overflow, it's what we have. So get ready. I'm going to tell you to get ready for your overflow. God has not forgotten about you. Get ready for your overflow because Jesus said it is time for your overflow. Jesus said, I'm waiting on you. And that's all I'm telling. Just open up your heart to receive the overflow. God said it is coming. It is coming. It is coming. We said because you been ready to take the drink at the well. And when you take the drink at the well, that is your overflow. Your overflow of being a sinner. Your overflow of being a adultery or fornication. Or your overflow of being broke, deceptive, crusted, depressing. Your overflow, you can come all over that because you are willing not to stop, stay in that position. As long as you take coming up to the well, you from what it have your overflow. If you ain't telling everybody who he is, then you don't know who he is. And if you are the one he is calling today, if you know you will not be able to stay in your seat, you will not be able to wait another day. Well, I'm going to give you all of it if you just come and have a drink at the well. Because once you get to the well, there ain't nothing but internal life. If this is all your overflow. This is all along to you. This is all the overflow. So I need you to come to the well and come and take this overflow drink. And because if you need a drink, you need to come to the well. I ain't talking about no liquor. I'm talking about the physical drink. I'm talking about the physical drink. Let's come to the well. Let's come to the well because that is our overflow. We might be overlooked by people, but we got to come to the overflow by God. And we don't worry about whatever people think, but we have the overflow. So we need to come to the well and just say, Jesus, this is my overflow. You are my overflow. You gave me everything that I could have. You gave me a life, but yes, I was looking for love in the wrong places. Instead of loving you, I'm trying to find love in people. Instead of loving you, I'm trying to find love in money. Instead of loving you, I'm trying to find love in cars, or in anything else, in drugs or alcohol. But now I didn't come to the well to take your overflow. Now that I know that you love me, now that I know that I don't have to well be a time of my past, now I don't have to be called a sinner. 
even though people might be calling me a sinner, but I didn't have to stop that word because you saved me. You told me that I am an overflow. You told me that I am worthy and made very wonderful, man. You told me that I have everything, but I'm going to keep continuing to meet you at the way because I know I need that overflow. I know that I need all what you have for me and everything that to come along with. But yes, the Lord, I'm glad that you are overflow change my name. I'm glad that your overflow delivered me. I'm glad that your overflow healed me. I'm glad that your overflow said, I will make a way out of nowhere. I'm glad that your overflow said, step here. Yeah. Step in here. You go on the right that way. I'm glad that it was just that when midnight I will come, I don't know what to do. I'm going to get catching and counting, go try to go to sleep. But your overflow said, don't worry about it. You hear the little voice say, it's all right. You hear the little voice tell you, it's all right. And when your overflow continues, you don't stop that. You don't stop on your deliverance. He don't stop on your healing. He don't stop on that. He continues with the overflow. And whatever the overflow starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But as long as you keep meeting Jesus that's the way. As long as you keep that, I'm taking this drink. As long as you keep that, I'm gonna not gonna stop here. I ain't gonna worry about nobody. I don't care if they tell you to overlook me. But why just Jesus ain't overlooking me, and he said he overflowing me. And then he said, I, I can't worry about nobody yet. Yeah, yeah they're going to call me, I'm a sinner. Yeah, they're going to call me, I'm a prostitute. Yeah, they're going to call me all this. But Jesus said, I know what I see in you. Amen. Jesus said, that's not what I see in you. Because for the simple reason, you can to the well to get your overflow. I don't see none of that in you. I ain't worried about what people say. People are gonna have their own food. People are gonna call you what you were, but that don't even mean that you are there. And you just say, I'm gonna continue. Do you tell them? Maybe you need to tell them about your overflow. Maybe you need to tell them that they need to take a drink at the well. And maybe so they can see they overflow. Maybe you need to tell them that, hey, this overflow is good. This overflow is good. This overflow is really good. And I ain't care what nobody say, but I ain't stopping at this overflow. I'm not going to stop no little overflow, but I'm going to stop a big overflow. And I want to know that this overflow, I'm going to continue to meet at the end of the way. I might have might be a long time since I had an overflow. But Jesus said when I am ready to overflow you, you're going to have it. And when it's on his time, we try to hurry God. And we cannot do that. But God said, I know when it is time for your overflow. And I mean, he know what time, he know how to do it. He know how to make a way out of nowhere. When you trying to figure it out, he and I already work it out. Amen. Amen. That's your overflow. Quit figuring it out and know it's easy to already work it out. That's your overflow. And I tell you too, Jimmy Dre, <clears throat> Dre come with age, but still, been in your time to be worried, been in depression, been in thinking about something that's not in your control. Just say, God, you know, because he's working it out while we figure it out. And so he's working it out. That's our old flow. And we need to know that God is in control. God is in control. We need to know that God can make anything turn around. He deal with the sickness. He can have that turn around. Whatever problem that you're going through, 
Jesus can turn it around because that is your overflow. And we're going to have to keep going to the well because the well, our overflow comes from. It's drunk it at the well. Jesus is with you all you. And this is saying, if you haven't known him, it's time to get ready to know him. Because the overflow is what to know him and to do his job. Because God's spirit, it doesn't mean physical, but God is the spirit that he will overflow your needs whenever you need it. And we need to tell somebody, let come to the world. Let's have our overflow. And we need to tell somebody about the Jesus to give us that overflow. Right now, the doors of the church is open. If you don't know Jesus, this is your invitation to come to accept him. This is your overflow to come to get ready to meet him. To meet him at this well. Please stand. This, this, this is your invitation to come and meet him at the way of If you don't know him, so you can accept your overflow. Where God is leading you to, if you don't have a church on, consider this as your church on. If you want to rededicate your life, Back to Jesus. Come on now, because he's waiting for you. He is waiting for you. He's waiting for you with an open arm. I will sow my seed. I will sow my seed. I will sow my seed. 
and obedience to God's word and in expectation of the harvest. 100% obedience to God, 100% obedience to tithing, 100% faith. Amen. All across the sanctuary, why don't you stand to your feet? Amen. Stand to your feet. Starting at the rear of the church, come down the center aisle. And so you're asleep. All of you stand to your feet. Starting at the rear of the church, come down the center aisle. And so you're asleep. Amen. Amen. I'm so grateful for our young people who are here today. A lot of them got, got, got pain in the last couple of weeks and they're sowing their seeds, they're tithing for the first time, amen? Amen, amen, they're tithing for the first time. This is teaching them, hallelujah, how to, how to live in the overflow, hallelujah, you got to learn how to tithe, amen, to live in the overflow, you got to learn how to tithe, amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Has everyone had an opportunity to sow their seed? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we thank you for us. Hallelujah. These seeds that have been sown. We ask and pray, oh God, that you would, hallelujah, bless your people for their obedience to your word. We thank you that you're the provider of every seed that's good and perfect. And now, God, we pray that you would sow back into the bosom of your people for their obedience some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. We thank you, O oh God, for what you're going to do in the life of your obedient children. And we say it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen, amen, amen. If you want to be blessed in life, amen. Sow your seeds, amen. If you want to be blessed in life, amen. This time, amen. Amen. It's the first Sunday, and I pray that all of those who accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, all of those who have been born again and baptized, you're able to partake with us of the Lord's Supper. Amen. Everyone should have the Lord's Supper. If you're watching by way of social media, you can also partake with us. Get some crackers and juice and partake of the Lord's Supper with us. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, O Lord, my God, for your word says, do this in remembrance of you. Lord, as we do this in remembrance of you, we understand, God, the sacrifice that you made and that you gave your life just for us. And Lord, help us to always understand that. And then, God, that as we come to renew our commitment and we, we renew our vows unto you, and we're going to live our life, hallelujah, that's pleasing in your sight, God. We pray that you would help us to do that, to live a life that, that glorifies and honors the work, hallelujah, at Calvary, but then the work that you've been raised again from the dead. God, we thank you and we bless you, and we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. For I have received of the Lord that which I shall also delivered unto you. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he prayed and said, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And in the same manner, he also took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. It's do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. So let him eat of 
that bread and drink of that cup. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Amen. Let's get the bread out. Amen. Open up the Lord's Supper. Take out the bread. We'll protect it of the bread together. Amen. For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This you do in remembrance of me. So take up the bread. After the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. 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 
for the Emerson community and the Emerson neighborhood. And we share with them what our young people are doing. Amen? Amen. What our young people are doing as they're learning. Amen. About how to grow their own food and learning about the business of farming. Amen. Amen. Uh, keep in mind on, on uh, this week, we're in a 52 week Word in the Heart Challenge. Our word, our scripture this week comes from Romans chapter 12, verse number 3. So all week, I need you meditating on Romans 12 and 3. Amen. And then join us on Wednesday for Bible study. If you haven't joined us, we're in the book of Nehemiah. We'll be in the sixth chapter of the book of Nehemiah this week. Amen. As God continues to reveal to us his word. Amen. you got two opportunities to join us at noon and at 6 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday. Amen. Amen. Praise team rehearsal is at 5 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday. Those that want to be a part of the praise team, come and join us on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock p.m. God is doing a new thing at this place. Amen. We're thankful God has blessed us. Some of the grants that we've written, they've been, hallelujah, successful. Amen. And we're praying for the other ones that we've written, that we find success in them, that we might continue to do all that God has called us to do. Amen. Amen. Thank God for these musicians. Amen. Thank God for this. Hallelujah. Minister Dawson on today. Amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We pray now, O oh God, that we move from being overlooked, O oh God, to living life in the overflow. All because, God, we meet you. Hallelujah. At the well. We thank you, Father, that you're doing a new thing in our life in this season, oh God, and that you're turning things around in our life. We pray now, oh God, that you would bless these, your people, hallelujah, that as they leave this place, but never from your presence, oh God, hallelujah, that they are kept by your word, that they are kept by your power and divine. God, we thank you that you continue to do new things in our life. For this, we give you glory and we give you honor and praise. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his confidence upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.